வணக்கம் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் ப்ராப்ளம் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஃபைவ் ஃப்ரம் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கியூட்ஸ் பை அலெக்சாண்டர் அண்ட் சடிக்யூஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் எடிஷன் த கொஸ்டின் இஸ் டு அப்ளை நோடல் அனாலிசிஸ் டு ஃபைண்ட் ஐ நாட் அண்ட் பவர் டிசிபேட்டட் இன் ஈச் ரெசிஸ்டர் இன் த சர்க்கியூட் ஸோ இஃப் வி லுக் இன் டு திஸ் ப்ராப்ளம் ஹியர் தைனோட்டிஸ் த கரண்ட் விச் இஸ் ஃப்ளோயிங் த்ரூ த சிக்ஸ் சீமெல்ஸ் கண்டக்டன்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஹியர் ஆல்சோ வி ஹாவ் Two amperes current source and here we have the four amperes current source and this 10 volts voltage source is available and here we have three siemens and five siemens so here resistance is not given only the conductance is given because the unit is given in siemens so we can convert the siemens into resistance by finding the reciprocal of it so if this is one by six ohms this is 1 by 5 ohms resistance and this is 1 by 3 ohm resistance and we have to mark other necessary details so we take this as current i1 this is i2 this is i3 current and this is i4 current and the nodes are first node second node and third node with the potentials v1 v2 v3 and this is our reference node here the 10 ohms voltage source is not connected with the reference node okay it is available between this first node and the second node so this forms a super node so now we will see the definition of super node if any voltage source whether dependent or independent is not connected with the reference node then that nodes become the super nodes so this uh, voltage source is connected between first node and the second node so they combinedly form the super node so we take this as one two node that is the super node so for this super node we have to apply the nodal analysis that means we we'll apply kcl kirchhoff's current law so it states that sum of the incoming currents is equal to sum of the outgoing currents or the leaving currents okay so for the super node so what are the incoming currents here there is no incoming currents all the currents are leaving only so i not is leaving i1 is leaving this i2 is leaving similarly i3 is leaving so this i not plus i1 plus i2 plus i3 that is equal to zero so i not can be written as v1 minus 0 divided by that resistance 1 by 6 plus 2 amps it is given i2 is v2 minus 0 divided by 1 by 5 i3 is v2 minus v3 divided by 1 by 3 that is equal to 0 so it is 6 v1 plus 2 plus 5 v2 plus 3 times v2 minus 3 times v3 that is equal to 0 so we can write it like 6 v1 plus 8 v2 minus 3 v3 that is equal to minus 2 so this is our first equation so for this super node we can write the equation that is this 10 ohms is existing between this v1 and v2 okay so it is v1 minus v2 that is equal to 10 ohms so this can be taken as the second equation now at node 3 we can apply kcl here i1 i3 are incoming i1 i3 and i4 are incoming currents isn't it so we write it as i1 plus i3 plus i4 these are all incoming so that is equal to zero because no leaving currents so i1 is 2 amps plus i3 is v2 minus v3 divided by 1 by 3 then plus this 4 amps that is equal to zero so it is 2 plus 3 times v2 minus 3 times v3 plus 4 is equal to zero so this is 3v2 minus 3v3 that is equal to minus 6 so dividing this equation by 3 we get this is v2 minus v3 that is equal to minus 2 this is our third equation if you check this first equation and the third equation this the second equation consists of only two variables v1 and v2 but here 
we have three variables v1 v2 and v3 so in order to convert this into two variables we can substitute this into that a second equation may be substituted into the first equation that, that means we can write this as v1 is equal to 10 plus v2 in that way we can substitute so here applying it here 6 times 10 plus v2 plus 8 v2 minus 3 v3 that is equal to minus 2 so it is 60 plus 6 v2 plus 8 v2 minus 3 v3 that is equal to minus 2 that means it is 14 v2 minus 3 v3 that is equal to minus 62 so this can be taken as equation number 4 so bringing this fourth equation here it is 14 v2 minus 3 v3 that is equal to minus 62 isn't it this is our fourth equation so now we try to solve this third and fourth equation in order to get the value for one variable okay so i am going to multiply this that is better right to multiply again this third equation by 3 this is 3 v2 minus 3 v3 that is equal to minus 6 so changing the signs here this can be taken as equation number 3 dash so changing this signs here we just get cancelled so this is 11 v2 that is equal to minus 56 so v2 is equal to minus 56 divided by 11 that is equal to minus 5.09 so v2 value is minus 5.09 volts so this is one answer we get now this can be substituted in this equation v2 minus v3 equal to minus 2 isn't it we have that equation v2 v2 minus v3 is equal to minus 2 that is our third equation isn't it so in this I substitute this V2 so it is minus 5.09 minus V3 that is equal to minus 2. So minus V3 is equal to minus 2 plus 5.09. So this V3 is equal to minus 3.09 volts. So already we know this V1 is equal to 10 plus V2 from this second equation in this I substitute this V2 value so that we get this answer for V1. V1 is equal to 10 plus V2. V2 is minus 5.09 is it? So V1 is equal to 4.91 volts. So this is our third answer. So what, what are they? V1 is 4.91, V2 is minus 5.09 volts and V3 is minus 3.09 volts. Okay, so we got all the three variables. But, but the question is to find out I0, isn't it? As well as the power dissipated on the resistors. So now we have to find out the current I0, isn't it? So I0 can be written as V1 by 1 by 6, isn't it? So it is equal to V1 is 4.91. It is multiplied by the 6. So we get the answer as I0 is equal to 29.46 amps. So we got one answer which is asked in the question. Then power dissipation isn't it? So first we will see the power dissipated through this 1 by 6 ohm resistance. So how to calculate for that one dissipated. So P can be written as I square R isn't it? 
So here the power dissipated in 1 by such so resistances I is nothing but the psi naught. I naught is 29.46 square into 1 by 6. So that is equal to 144.64 watts. So this is another answer we get. So instead of finding I and then write the formula as I square R, we can also write it like the power dissipated in 1 by 5 ohm resistance that can be taken as B square by R. That formula can be applied. So it is V2 square. Okay, so what is V2? V2 is minus 5.09 the whole square divided by that resistance is 1 by 5. Okay, so that is equal to 5 into this 5.09 square. So this is equal to 129.54 watts. Similarly the power dissipated in this. So for this we have two potentials so we have to find out this I3. So I3 is equal to V2 minus V3 divided by this 1 by 3. So what is V2? It is minus 5.09 minus of minus plus 3.09 divided by this 1 by 3. So it is minus 2 into 3. So it is minus 6 amps current. So the power dissipated in this 1 by 3 ohm resistance that is equal to I square R. So it is I3 square into that R. Okay. So this is minus 6 square multiplied by R is 1 by 3. So it is 36 by 3 that is equal to 5. So we get this as P 1 by 3 ohm that is equal to 12 volts. So to summarize, P 1 by 6 ohm that is equal to 144.64 watts and P 1 by 5 Ohms is equal to 129, 129.54 watts and P 1 by 3 ohm resistance that is equal to 12 watts and the current I naught is equal to 29.46 amperes. So this is our answer.